Can you see that baby back there? Oh, she heard me. She been chewing on that donut since she got up. Yes, you were lazy today. Good morning, Internet. Hello. We are currently in Iowa. Uh, not really, actually. We're in Illinois. We're right next to Iowa. Um, we're at a tiny little rest area that's down the street from... Oh, crap. I want to remember this. We're down the street from Davenport. <laughs> and to really pull that one, uh, it's right near I-80, the, the truck stop on the I-80. Um, we're getting back on the I-80. I did not want to pay for tolls this time around, so we actually went a different route because we're on our way to Salt Lake City. Uh, we have a load, 42,000 pounds and change, um, going to Salt Lake, and then I'm reloading in the same facility, and that's going to Ontario, California. That's the plan. And then once I get to California, I get to hang out for the rest of the day after that delivery, which is right around noonish, and then I think we're going to go to the truck stop that's right there, because I have another pickup in Ontario, which is great, so there's almost no deadhead right now on this trip. I'm probably going to have to, well... I was going to say, probably going to have to deadhead out of Vegas when we go there, but I think we're going to spend the weekend there and pick up, like, a show load coming out. I haven't, I haven't set it up yet, um, because it's Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday. I will be the, in Vegas on Friday. It's just crazy to think about. Um, so yeah, we're getting ready to roll. I'm trying to warm up the truck a little bit, because it's a little chilly. I think I'm going to stop at the IE for breakfast, and I'm stopping again in Brooklyn, Iowa for fuel, because that's the best fuel on route. Um, for a little bit more about the tolls and how I avoided those, I'm going to try my best to actually write this up. I have nothing else to do in the truck. The switch is at home. <laughs> we get a switch for Christmas. Thanks, Santa Claus. <laughs> and so I don't have the switch, so I can't play Pokemon because uh, the kids are at home, so I didn't want to take it from them. Um, maybe I'll be good to myself and I'll get one for myself <laughs> and leave it in the truck. <laughs> Honestly, that may not be a bad idea because then I can play Mario Kart with them. That could be really fun. Um, but right now I gotta babysit the little lady anyway, um, and I read a lovely book. Um, I've been busy. I've been doing little stuff, so I really need to start writing. Um, cause it's 2020. Like, let's be real. Happy, happy new year. V18 V18? Okay. Woo. Oh, primary fuel low. Who would have thought? <laughs> it's almost like I planned this stop on purpose. Woo. Oh, I love that it's like a modular TA. It's got a dunks in it though. It's hard to get dunks all the way out here. So I'm gonna. Alright, come on. Pick up. I'm gonna pick up truck come on. I'll wait for him. Cause I'm nice. TA Deli, no waiting. See cashier for details. Come on, pick up, let's go. I didn't have to wait for you. Oh, I'm not waiting for them. Forget it. Uh-uh. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, let's go get some fuel. I have to fill it. Cause this is the best price. Hey, wait a minute. It's three. Okay, two ninety nine. All right, it is a little bit better than the eighty, but honestly, I'm gonna get a dunks anyway, so who cares? I don't. In five hundred feet, arrive at Travel Centers of America on the left. Yeah, their cash price was three oh two, two nine nine. I'll take it. All right, come on, minivan. I gotta go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're in the middle of nowhere. Go. 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 Lord. Please drive to highlighted route. Okay, we'll do that. 35? What? 29? What are you doing? We're taking I-80 forever. Like, all the way there. What's this 35, 29 crap? Turn right on I-80. What? What is she talking about? What? I don't know that I would recommend, like, I like Garmin, don't get me wrong, I love all the features, I love how functional it is, all that stuff, I missed. <laughs> Whoops. Um, but I don't know that I would recommend it as a, a good first, like, my first GPS. A Ram McNally has better routing, so you'll get used to the country, and then you can tell your GPS that it's wrong all the time. Because that's what I do. 
Is that my good girl? Is that my good girl? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hi. Hi. Is that my good girl? Is that my good girl? She's such a different dog from Jet. I know, we're talking into the microphone. Get excited. She's so different. They're just different doggos. Yeah, you've got a little head and these giant shoulders and these fat paws. You're so big. <laughs> um, yeah, that's just how she is. We have no idea if her ears are gonna pop or not. Who knows? We'll see. And if they don't, they don't. That's just, who cares? She's adorable. Yes, you chewed this whole donut up. <coughs> Doesn't care. She got a treat because she's been a good girl in the back. Yes, now she can sit up front. She'll be a good girl in the front too. Let's get moving. Weather, Tom. I don't have a regular Tom anymore, so maybe he's just Tom. But anyway, we're on our way to the port of entry, which is more than likely open at 7 o'clock in the morning. But it's very windy. I spoke with Steve a little while ago. He said that Laramie is closed. Um, so that's the thing. So depending on when we get there, what Laramie looks like, it's probably for the mountain because uh, it's very windy. It's like hurricane windy. Uh, or it should be by the time we get there. So, good morning, Internet. <laughs> this is my status update. Thankfully, it sounds like they will reopen it in like 10 hours or less. So, I'm glad I got up early and finished my drive. I stopped in Ogallala last night. Ogallala. Alright, let's see what's going on. Uh, slow down. What does it say? Uh, I don't know. I can't read it yet. Slick spots, wind gusts, 40 plus miles an hour, turn off cruise control. Did that. Uh, high wind warning, expect crosswinds. What? 
Oh, 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. Okay. All right. Is there a pre-pass? I feel like there is. Oh, it's so windy. I can barely hear myself think. Oh, there is a pre-pass. Yeah, okay. Sure. I won't get one. There's no way. They don't pre-pass trucks. Wyoming. Everybody goes. Everybody comes to say hello. Wouldn't that be amazing though if I got a pre-pass? That would be amazing. It's not gonna happen. Let's just put the thought out of your mind. It's not happening. Every everybody goes to say hello to Wyoming. You have to bring in your book too, which I checked yesterday. Everything is good to go. I always like to check, especially now that it's like the beginning of New Year. <gasps> I got a pre-pass! Ah! Oh goodness! That means I can go. Okay, you said I I can go. Pre-pass! Pre-pass! You gave me pre-pass! Thank you! Why are there so many trucks here? Did you shut down the highway somewhere? Good lord. You gave me a pre-pass. You gave me a pre-pass. Thank you. Thank you, Wyoming. I appreciate it. Truly. You guys are the best. <laughs> Sorry, little lady. We were going to stop there and go outside. I guess we have to stop somewhere else now. Holy sh... Did you see that fire? Off to the left. Woo! I got a free pass in Wyoming. If they didn't want me to, if they didn't want, I didn't, why would you give me a free pass if you wanted me to stop? I have a free pass. That's pretty exciting. I didn't keep it slow though. We're about to come into town. Some guy behind me. I don't like it. I got a free pass. That's pretty awesome. Anyway, we have a lot of wind. We'll probably get stopped in Laramie. We have to be super careful. Thankfully, I have 42,000 pounds on. I'm very heavy, so we should be okay. But we still need to be careful. Just be careful. Uh, so I will check back in here in a little bit, I'm sure. Uh, but it, I, I don't know if you can hear the wind. I don't know if this microphone picks it up. We're inside. I would think so. Lots of spots here. Take exit 310 on the right toward Curtis Street. Okay. That's where I'm going. I heard the loves is full. We're going to the Petro anyway. Right, little lady. I'm gonna take her out and feed her. And then I can relax. Oh, I gotta call my broker. Let them know. In one quarter mile, I'm granted. turn left on West Curtis Street. I'm not due until tomorrow at like 8, but it's always, always good to let them know ahead of time so that they have time to call everybody else and plan. Say, hey, your truck's stuck. Look at all the trucks. Turn left at the stop sign. <laughs> this guy, this guy right here is ready and waiting. He got places to be. Look at him. <laughs> this is my highway. And this other guy, what has he got? Some random tube. Come on.
Come on, boo. Let's go to the Petro. Oh. We made it. Unless he's leaving. Are you leaving? In one quarter mile, oh. turn right on the road. Thanks, lady. I appreciate it. Oh. oh. All right. Uh. I guess we'll go find a spot somewhere in this mess. Somewhere. Hopefully near like some grass. <laughs> that would be nice. I don't care about being near the building. I really don't. I just. <sighs> My face is all screwed up because it's dry up here. Like I went for a run last night and then I've been, I coughed all night. So I've got some sort of like reflexive, slight reflexive asthma, which really sucks. Um, Signal, turn signal, turn anything. Right what are you road. doing? Something, anything. God, why? Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? So my bunk heater doesn't work. It says no flame detect. So we'll uh, bring it back and see if I can get it fixed with heat real. I mean, I guess I could go there. I could go to a thermal king. I can't get it done here. I'm at the Petro and Laramie. They don't work on them. Um, so the thermal king in LA, I might be able to work on. There might be one in Las Vegas. And I might have to spend the weekend there. Oh, oh, I gotta find a load. Crap, what am I doing? <laughs> I have all this time. Well, I guess, do I find a load? I'm stuck. <laughs> I don't even know if I'll make my Vegas trip. Why is it that every time I book a trip to Vegas, something happens? What are you doing? What are you sleeping on my pillow for? Um, good girl! Good job! Good girl! Can dogs have strawberries? Yes, your dog can have a strawberry. Except mine doesn't really know what to do with it. You're supposed to eat it. You're supposed to eat it. <laughs> Not your foot. Don't eat your foot. Oh, so the bunk here doesn't work. Yes, but the sun is right on my back, so we're not gonna idle until we have to. Right, good girl. That's how we roll. I feel the truck rocking. Anyway, I gotta find work. Now that I've, I've distracted myself, I need to find a load, I guess. Or at least see what's available in Vegas. 